Hey guys, today we are in BMW X5 2020 with a virtual cockpit and I'm going to show you how to enter and use the hidden menu which is over here in the virtual instrument cluster. Right now, first thing that you need to do is turn on the ignition without turning on the engine. So don't press any pedals. Press the start stop button three times and the whole thing will wake up. Give it a few seconds. Locate the BC button. Press and hold it. And we are going to wait about 20 or maybe 30 seconds uh, to get the uh, hidden menu, the diagnostic menu. So I'm uh, holding the button and in a few seconds we will see service menu for the service reminder. So it's okay, it's over here, but I'm still holding the button. Okay, and right now we are in the main menu. With short press, with short press, you are browsing the menu. So we have identifications, system test, chassis dyno mode, showroom mode, um, uh, the board computer, initiation range, whatever that is, service brake system, you can end the test and you can unlock other uh, options over here. I'm, I'm not sure if you can see it, maybe let's uh, uh, bring the camera a little bit closer. Okay, so to get into identification or any other option in, the, in this menu, you need to press and hold the BC button again. And this also will take about 10 seconds. Um, BMW for some reason made this a little bit annoying with the 10 seconds wait. Okay, we are in that identification over here with short press. We can scroll through this little list of information. We have a hardware version. We have uh, mm, we have the uh, speed index. We have speed distance, whatever uh, index uh, distance index, whatever that is. Software, firmware. Oh my God! Traffic information. Let's go back over here and we have last digits from the VIN, VIN number and you are interested in those uh, five. You have seven digits but those last five uh, are interested, uh, interesting because uh, in this case is 72120 and you need to add up those five last digits together. So we have seven plus two plus one plus two plus uh, zero. So that's 12, I believe, 12. Okay, right now I'm going to press and hold the BC button again. I'm doing this because I want to exit the identification sub menu and go into the main menu again. And when I'm in the main menu, right now I'm going to short press the button to go into the unlock option press and hold to, um, to enter it. And over there you need to enter a pin code to unlock some additional features in this diagnostic menu. And this pin code is the, is the sum of those, uh, of those five last digits of your VIN. So the code is zero, zero. I'm going to press the BC button 12 times. And now press and hold it. And if the code is correct, of course, in your car, the code will be different. It's based on your VIN number. If the code is correct, we will have some new features. We have tank, we have temperature. Okay, so maybe let's go with temperature as it's the most interesting one. I'm, press and I'm pressing and holding the BC button again to enter it. And it's interesting because BMW is not giving you a temperature display, uh, most likely in your car. And over here you can see what's the coolant temperature, it's 46, and what's the oil temperature is 53. And this is the issue with all the BMWs way back. I had it in, I didn't have it in my BMW 1 Series E87. Back in the day there was no temperature display and the only way to do it to view the temperature was either with a diagnostic tool or with uh, this hidden menu and bmw kindly kindly enough is uh, uh, implementing this hidden diagnostic mode in all the instrument clusters from years back okay so maybe let's perform the system test i'm going to uh, keep my camera over here and when the test begins we will and we will see some uh, LCD display test. Let's give it, oh, it's asking us, do you want to start the test? And right now I'm going to short press the button and we have the indicators and we have all blue, all or green, all red and all white display. This is a feature that will help you diagnose the screen if you have some dead pixels. And if you don't want to go if you want to, don't want to start this 
test just press and hold the bc button again and it will bring you back to the main menu so there are there are different options over here i don't have time to go through all of them and because i need to give back this car soon also the 10 second wait is uh, keep is, is making me crazy but um, to exit this menu this is the most most important thing to some of you you need to just turn off the ignition and close the car so the whole system goes to sleep and next time you turn it back on you will be uh, in normal mode as as usual or you can browse uh, you can scroll down to the test and press and hold and it will quit this uh, diagnostic mode okay that's it for today thank you for watching give me thumbs up if you liked this quick tutorial and subscribe for future ones see you soon